In today's how-to video, we'll be demonstrating how to reset a Windows 10 password. So let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VMs or screen capture. We will be using real hardware, and for our testbed, we'll be using the Dell Optiplex 390. And we've got Windows 10 already installed. Now, before we begin, for this method, we are going to need some kind of Windows boot media, uh, whether it's your installed DVD or a USB bootable drive. Uh, this is the method that we'll be using though. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do know what the login is for this install as it's set to pass one, two, three, word. Uh, this really doesn't much matter because this method will allow us to change it to whatever we want. So to begin, we wanna go back to the login screen, so we'll go ahead and sign out. And from here, we actually want to uh, make this machine boot up into safe mode upon its next reboot. So to do that, we're gonna have to go down to the lower right hand corner and select the power icon. We'll go ahead and click on that. And here, what we wanna do is we wanna hold the shift key and click on restart. Now, this will go ahead and bring up a special boot. So here we are at the special menu here and we're gonna go ahead and click on troubleshoot and we want advanced options and startup settings. Uh, now this is gonna give us the options that we'll get upon the next reboot, but uh, before we click restart, we actually wanna put in our boot media as we want to uh, boot to this first. So we'll put that in and we'll click on restart. Now you're gonna need to know what your uh, boot menu strike key is, or you may have to go into your BIOS and set it to boot to your boot media. Uh, mine's F12, so we'll go ahead and hit it. And in our boot list here, we're gonna come right down to our USB and select that. So uh, this may take a while, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward through it. Uh, this is the first window for the window setup, though we're not gonna go any further with the install as we're gonna use a keyboard shortcut to open command prompt. Now we'll hold down shift and press F10. Now the command prompt's open, one of the first things that we have to do is we have to figure out what drive letter is associated with our Windows install. Uh, I believe that it's D, but we'll try C first. So C is a valid drive, though I ran the uh, DIR command to see what was on the drive and there is nothing. So we'll go ahead and try D now. So D is also a valid drive, and from the contents, this looks like our Windows install. So now that we know what drive letter our Windows is installed on, we can go ahead and run a few commands. The first of which is just going to be a uh, command to make a backup of the uh, ease of access program file. Now that the uh, command is typed in, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, it says that one file has been moved. Now the second command is actually going to make a copy of the uh, command prompt program file as the ease of access program file. So we'll go ahead and type that in. Now that we have that typed in, we will hit enter. And it tells us right here that one more file has been copied. So that's all we need to do here. Uh, we can go ahead and close out uh, command prompt, uh, pull out our USB and close the installation to reboot the PC. And on this pop-up, we'll go ahead and click yes. So our PC will reboot. And like we were speaking before, this is the uh, safe mode startup menu. And we're going to go ahead and select enable safe mode. So that one is number four. Now, the reason why uh, we want to do that 
is because sometimes your antivirus or even Windows Defender can actually detect that we changed that file and will prevent the program from running. Now that we're at the logon screen, what we're going to do is we're going to come down the lower right hand corner and click on the ease of access to try to bring up our command line. And there's our command line. Now from here we want to run a few more commands, the first of which is net user. And uh, this command brought up uh, a list of all the current users on this PC. We have our built-in administrator, our built-in guest, uh, a few system accounts, and our owner account. So to change the password of a user, we're just going to type net user, the name of the account, and the new password we want to use. So we're going to head and use 123 as our new password, and this is case sensitive, so make sure that you remember what's capitalized in lowercase. We'll hit enter, and it tells us right here that the command completed successfully. So we're all set in here, and we can close out uh, command prompt. Uh, now that the password's changed, we're going to try our original password, which was pass123 word. And as you can tell, it does not work. So we'll go ahead and try our new password, which is 123. And there we go. Logs us right in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reboot to our standard Windows login and uh, try to change the password again. So we're back at the Windows login and we're going to go ahead and try our 123 password. And there we go, it logged us right in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log back out and change the password to something a little different and try it again. So we're going to go ahead and open up our command prompt again and uh, we're going to change this password to something a little different. So we went ahead and put in the command net user owner and our new password, which is going to be Windows. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And right there, it tells us that the command completed successfully. So we'll close out the command prompt and try out our new password. And there we are. Logged us right in. And that's how you change a Windows 10 password. Knowledge is power.